Breaker.
change to your country and to end the cycle of violence. Those who are engaged in armed struggle against your government have been invited to join us if they expect to end the strife that ravages their countries. The choice is theirs. As we face the future and determine our neighbors through the strength of purpose of brave and far-sighted individuals like President Duarte, a crisis has been averted and admirable progress has been made especially in creating and consolidating democratic institutions. <clears throat> Mr. President, Mrs. Regan, distinguished members of the government, friends, people of America. It is indeed a very special pleasure to be received by you on this colorful ceremony by the United States President on a state visit. I receive this honor with great modesty, knowing full well that this ceremony is an acknowledgement to the democratic commitment of the brave people of El Salvador. Only last week, in your speech to the Organization of American States, you stated that the Central American plan quote, contains many of the elements necessary to bring both lasting peace and enduring democracy for the region, close quote. Technical capacity will take an active role. I am convinced that there cannot be peace in Central America without freedom and democracy, which in turn will only be attained to comprehensive dialogue and negotiated ceasefire. I also insist that each Central American president with all the obligations contracted and that no government be permitted to take only cosmetic or half measures or to excuse his government's lack of total compliance because of We need to continue to work to bring democracy to all the Central Americas. 
I know that the United States has been engaged in this effort. Thank you. Let me break the process. I've seen through my life many times in which people with hate in their heart have to apply and in the name of my people to give them a peace.